Well, I, I started out as a journalist and um, as a writer, actually. And my love was always telling stories, and I was very interested in, in um, real social issue stories and um, uh, human interest stories, like the story for National Geographic on 21st century slaves, a um, story on beauty and what it means in different cultures of the world, um, a book on geisha, um, just um, sort of how people live, what are the issues affecting their lives. And it's always been about people and human existence. So coming here to the workshop the first time was um, kind of overwhelming to me because I really not only didn't know anything about uh, um, wildlife photography or uh, natural history or landscape photography, I knew that I couldn't do it. <laughs> so, so it was a bit intimidating to come here and suddenly find yourself among the world's great uh, photographers in that area. Um, but it really, I have to say that it really opened my, my mind. I was sort of closed minded that the only kind of photography worth doing is, is social issues. But now that I've seen the value of this kind of photography in saving the world and saving the environment um, and saving the animals and the creatures and things, um, that it is, it is um, social issues. It is um, that kind of intense, important photography as well. So it's, it's completely open, opened my eyes and my world to, uh, to that kind of photography as well. I was, at first I was just sort of, you know, try, trying to teach people um, or instruct them about, um, about photographs themselves, working with the students. But then I started, you know, taking a little time and going, going out with Tom Mangelson um, around in, his er in, the, in this area of the West and sort of started watching how he shot. And, um, and then with the other uh, instructors as well, and going out with the students myself, and, um, and started actually learning quite a bit myself. And um, uh, then I've just enjoyed doing that every year. It's one of the main, I love to come back and, and sort of do that and experiment. And then suddenly I found myself on assignment last year for National Geographic, and I found myself in Botswana. And it was a story about a man who was a safari guide, but, I was able to go out in safari with him and my wildlife photographs. I'm proud to say we're pretty good. <laughs> Only because I've been coming here for these last few years. Otherwise, I think I would have been quite at sea. I think it's really important for, for the um, people who come to workshops to see how many points of view there are uh, about an, each individual photograph, that all the different instructors can have a completely different uh, take on the photograph itself. And um, they can also see all the different sort of career paths that people have taken to get where they are in, um, in the world and get whatever pointers they have. I think it's always surprising to, uh, to I call them students, but you know, they're mostly you know, uh, professional people in their own right, but how giving other photographers are and how willing they are to share their secrets and their locations and their tips and their hints, I think that's sort of a real surprise for, um, for a lot of them.